We Will Rock Our Classmates, written by Ryan T. Higgins. Penelope was the only T-Rex at her school. Sometimes that made her stand out a little. And sometimes Penelope's classmates didn't see her at all. They just saw a dinosaur. Hey, you want to play cops and dinosaurs? You can be the dinosaur. Well, I was hoping to play dentist. Great, we'll be the dentist. You'll be the dinosaur. Um, have you been flossing? William Amato's backpack is stuck in your teeth. Dinosaur or not, Penelope loved to play. She loved to read. Good night, Tasty Goose, all wrapped in baloney. Good night, Tasty Goose, with a side dish of pony. And she loved to draw. Wait, I don't need to. I don't even have any mustard. But the one thing Penelope loved to do more than anything else was to make music. She loved to sing. She loved to play guitar. Penelope loved to rock and roll. So when Mrs. Noodleman told the class about the school talent show, the school is going to be having a talent show! Penelope was excited. She was also nervous. She wanted to rock her classmates, but could she do it? Also, the sign of she was right next to Walter, the ferocious goldfish. Club. Penelope took a deep breath. She had to do it. She tiptoed past Walter and quickly wrote her name on the sign-up sheet with her bravest purple marker. After school, Penelope shared the big news with her parents. And I'm gonna wear a pink tutu and big boots and spike my scales and look really angry, but I'll actually be really happy and it's gonna be so great! She hummed her favorite songs while brushing her teeth. She danced all the way to the bus. She even told her classmates about her favorite band, the Weevils. Best band ever! My dad used to go to their concerts until he accidentally ate the drummer. At last, it was time for rehearsal. <sighs> Can dinosaurs even play guitar? On stage, Penelope froze. She could not sing. She could not play guitar. Penelope worried that dinosaurs cannot rock and roll. Penelope was very quiet on the car ride home. She hardly ate anything for supper. Are you sure you don't want more penny pie? You only had 52 burgers. The next day at recess, Penelope sat alone on the bench. She would not play hopscotch. I am not a hopscotcher. I am a T-Rex. She would not play duck duck goose. I am not a duck or another duck or goose. I am a dinosaur. At the end of the day, Penelope marked her name off the sign-up sheet with her saddest blue marker. Blub. When Penelope got home, she went straight to her room. Daddy Rex came in to talk to her. Is everything okay? I can't be in the talent show. I am just a dinosaur. Ah, I see. Come with me. Take a look at this family photo album. This is your Uncle Frank. He was the biggest kid. Oh, and here's your mom, finishing her first marathon. And here's me, the world hamburger eating champion. I ate 5,053 burgers with ketchup. You see, being a T-Rex is only part of who you are. You, for instance, kind and caring, creative and adventurous. And you can be anything you want to be. The next day, 
Penelope marched back over to the sign-up sheet. She looked straight at Walter. Blub. And almost lost her nerve. But Penelope's classmates had a different idea. Can we play with you? In your band? Please, Penelope. Come please, on, Penelope. Please, Penelope. It'll be so much so fun. Much fun. Please. please. And that gave her just enough courage. On the night of the show, Penelope was really excited and also really nervous. She peeked from backstage to try and find her parents. When the curtains opened, Wilhelmina Amato and her amazing animal sounds took the stage. Roar! Howl! Chirp! Bow! Tweet! 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 Plop! Honk! Mabel Hastings and her dancing pony went second. Tap, tap, tippity, tap to tap. Followed by the Stegman brothers synchronized swimming my mat. Then Martin Cortez and his dazzling card tricks. Your card. It was a ten of hearts. No? Uh, was it the Elephant of Spades? Finally, it was Penelope's turn. The lights on the stage were bright, but not as bright as Penelope. Penelope was a T-Rex. She was also kind and caring and creative and adventurous. Most of all, Penelope was a rock star. We are... Penelope and the Mustard Seeds came in second place, just behind Mabel Hastings and her dancing pony. That was okay with Penelope. She loved ponies. <laughs>